know, we've been cheering for all these teams in November and December to get our league off to a good start, and, and that has certainly happened. And now the grim reality of that is we have to play all those teams we've been cheering on. Uh, you know, our, our league's had some great wins in the non-conference portion of our schedule, and I think has positioned ourselves well moving forward uh, with as many of the of quality wins against good teams that we've had across the board as a league. So, uh, and our guys are anxious to get back on the floor. Anytime you get beat, and you want to get back on the floor as quick as you can. And, try to rectify the problem. Uh, but obviously, uh, Providence provides a, a huge challenge for us with their length and size. And, uh, you know, LaDonta Hinn's playing really well right now. What's he doing differently this year? He's shooting more. <laughs> you know, a, a lot of those shots that Bryce Cotton took, he, or he's taking now. You know, he's become their go-to guy in the offensive end of the floor. And, uh, you know, I think his numbers from a three-point percentage are about the same. He's just probably taking twice as many shots as he did at the same time last year. And, uh, you know, they're moving him around. He gets it in the post. He gets it mid-range. He's shooting the three. Uh, he's driving it some. So, you know, you've got to guard him in, in every possible way because there's not a lot of weakness to his game. And what's, what's done kind of done for them? Well, you know, this is really the first time this last stretch of two weeks where he's been healthy right. for any stretch of period of time during his career, and you can see what he's capable of. And just not many 6'3", 205-pound point guards that you have to go against, and he's He's strong, he's tough, he's a great defender. He shoots it good enough that you have to respect it. Um, and then he's just a quarterback out there. You know, he's getting other, his, his teammates open shots and good shots. So he's been, he's, a, he's totally different than Bryce Cobb uh, in, in his approach to the game, but but effective in a different way. Any benefit to start the big league schedule out on the road, a couple games like this? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I, I think we're going to be treated to an environment similar to what we treated Marquette to last year. I think Providence will have that place rocking. Um, so, you know, I think it's difficult. But, you know, the last time we were in an environment like that in Nebraska, we handled it pretty well. So, uh, you know, hopefully our guys understand what we have to do. You got some guys. Go ahead, Seth. You got some guys that obviously have played in Big East games before, but you're going to be dependent on some guys that this is their first rodeo, so to speak. I guess what do you try to get across to them? Well, you, you have to be who you are. And, can't try to be something we're not. And, and when we get away from that, uh, that's when we've been in trouble. I mean, we've got guys trying to do too much and try to make the, the great pass instead of just making a simple pass. And now that great pass that they attempted ends up a turnover going the other direction. So you know, we have to take care of better care of the basketball, and that's been one of the messages, uh, obviously, against the Providence team. Rebounding is always huge. Uh, and then just trying to control the stretches in the game where you try not to allow them to get on a big roll. And we, we did a great job of that at Nebraska. And when you do that, you keep the crowd out of the game. And that's going to be our challenge Wednesday night. What's your 